Bat shooting has left the neighborhood on edge this 4th of July holiday. CBS News Philadelphia's Dan Snyder was in King Sessing today talking with people who were there as those shots were fired. This bike at the corner of 56th and Chester is all that remains of the scene. It serves as a makeshift memorial for the five people killed, and neighbors tell us this shooting has the entire neighborhood on edge. People outside, people eating water ices. Nobody's expecting to just come outside and somebody walking around shooting people. Neighbors in King Sessing still in shock Tuesday, the day after a gunman opened fire, killing five people and wounding two other children. Theo James tells us he was close by when shots rang out. I didn't see the guy until the, the fire started coming out of the gun. We saw the sparks coming out of the gun, and that's when I ran. Amid the chaos and gunfire, James says he could hear people yelling for help and decided to run in and do what he could. And I heard a young man screaming, like, help, 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 please help. There's people walking by him. So I, I helped him out, and after I helped him out, I saw another person down the street, discovered them, and helped him out. Police were able to take the suspected gunman into custody. They say he was wearing a bulletproof vest and carrying a handgun and assault-style rifle during the block's long attack. Amir Barber says he's never seen something like this. We used to violence. I mean, this is the city we live in now, but as far as like this on this level, no, we're not used to that. Now, as the community continues to mourn, they're still searching for the why. People angry and people just want some kind of answers. And they're hoping that city officials can give those answers to, to why, at least why it happened or whatever. But it won't change the fact that people lost their loved ones and they're still going to be sad. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia. And stay with CBS News Philadelphia for the latest on the mass shooting. As we learn more about the victims and the suspect, you can always find the latest developments on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.